But this woman had an issue. Did she come to the house? Did she come to the house? Oh, come on, somebody. But Jesus said, I love you even 
Look at your neighbor and say, you've been playing a fool. Uh, he says, everything that lives comes from me. Everybody that's breathing is not living. Uh, some of you dead right now. Uh, some of you go home and you hate yourself. Some of you got more depressions and problems. Come on, and call it got liver pills. Some of you got more excuses. Some of you can't even look in the mirror. Some of you can't even smile on your way because you're walking around already. Jesus. But he, he makes a revelational point by he says, he says, anything that is living comes from me. Come on, somebody. Uh, anybody in the church that is living has got a relationship from a starting point. Anybody that's happy and you know it, cut your head, got a relationship from the starting point. Anybody, come on, crazy enough to give God praise in the midst of your storm has already started off at the starting point. May not have a lot of money, but guess what? I got a good start. May not have the one you got, but I got a good start. I'm glad Quincy would have stayed up. Quincy was my example of track. Uh, one thing I, I saw is that when they was running the relay, they never put the slow man in the yeah. <laughs> What's wrong with us today, y'all, is this. Some of y'all running with too much baggage that is making you slow. Oh, yeah. And because you look like you got it together, the church is putting you in the forefront. Come on, somebody. And wonder why we can't make it is because we got the wrong folks starting. Y'all yeah. always say that. Look at your name today. Get rid of some of that baggage. Yeah. Oh, come on, somebody. Watch it. Watch it. Because it makes sense that, that when it was at the starting point of the track line, they wore the least amount of clothes as possible. The rascals didn't even have socks to look like. Come on, somebody. Anything that seemed like it could hold them back, they left it on the side. Y'all ain't saying nothing here. They weren't going to run a successful race with them holding you down. Come on, somebody. And what's your problem in your life? You're trying to carry somebody that's holy. Oh, y'all ain't saying I'm trying to go somewhere, kid, but I love her too much. She's my first girlfriend. Come on, somebody. She said she loved her. We're supposed to get married. Why can't I run? Uh, what I like about some people is some people say, my love is stay at home, I'm going to church anyway, I got to run this way. Come on, somebody. You may not want to go, but I got to keep on running because I'm not going to let you up. I'm trying to get somewhere. I'm trying to move from point A to point B, and I can't get that holy. That's right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Watch it, watch it. Because, watch it. The significance of the race is going to show you. If I'm at the starting point and I got a bad attitude, guess what? I can't run with so far and my attitude will expose who I really am. That's right. Like I want somebody. So what I should do, they didn't put the fast, a fast man to start off because something told them when they were creating track and field that, mm -hmm. that, that in order to win, you need a good. You need a good, you need a good start when you run to, to have a good start. Now watch now. Me and Quincy have competed and many times we ran just me and him. He's the only person I cannot beat. <laughs> and two years ago, to me, I thought about why can't I beat Quincy and running when I can smoke just about anybody else when I'm running. And I finally figured it out because he's got a better take on. You can't avoid it. If you got a good, how y'all ain't saying nothing in If you got a good, take off. Watch that. They were passing the baton to one man. What I'm afraid of in the church today is that there's not enough people who are running right to pass the baton. Y'all ain't saying nothing in here. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Because watch the murder before. This man would hand him the baton. The man 
will be in position to receive. That's good. That's good. They were running, and when they seen the man coming close, they said they would start a little job with their hands back, saying, I'm ready to take on the mountain. Come on. I'm ready for you to pass me the investment charge. I'm ready to elevate. So I need to be in the right position to take the hand off. They would pass the hand off. And the last leg. And then we call them the last leg. The anchor. Oh, Lord. How many know that the anchor keeps staying steady? Balance. Come on, you give him enough good takeoff. Come on, somebody. He can cruise the last mile. Y'all ain't saying nothing here. Like that ought to be a time in your life where your children ought to be able to cruise now because mom and daddy got it on lockdown. Mom and daddy took what they had to take. Mom and daddy had to endure. Come on, somebody. So that by the time they child got the anchor, they were ready to cruise in life. But what I'm afraid of today is that so many children are watching parents grow who have not started out. Jesus. Jesus. I'm afraid today that the children today are seeing mama dating seven guys and thinking that's right. Daddy preaching and sin and thinking that's right. Daddy talking to mama and his wife any kind of way and thinking that's right. And if you don't start it off, guess what? Rather than the child being able to cruise, they're going to have to try to catch up. Come on, somebody. Yeah. With the other runners. Meaning they're going to have to exert more energy in the long run. Because we didn't start them off. Everything that was made from him is good. And he's created you and made you. You ought to be good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But tell me that through history, Brother, we are products of our environment. How do we break a generational curse? We go back to the beginning. Y'all ain't saying nothing yet. How do we stop being angry at everything? Go. Go back to the beginning. How does life start making sense again? Go back. Oh yeah, yeah. How you get that sad look on your face? Go back to the beginning. Because when you go back, you find Jesus already gave you the solution to every problem that you ever had. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Close your eyes.